guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using this duo by Bare Minerals. It is the top shelf duo that I got a long time ago. But it's just the simplest combo of colors. They're so beautiful in bronze and it's one of my go-to looks. Like if I'm going to do something a little extra with my eye makeup, bronze is so beautiful on blue eyes. It is so incredibly beautiful on brown eyes. So I think anyone can wear this very fair or very dark skin tones. These colors are gorgeous. And this is, I think, a very universal um, little duo that I think everybody needs. <laughs> so I'll do a little outfit of the day. So I've got my hair up in my typical little just flippy bun. Uh, this is just a little headband that doesn't even tie. It just has a little faux bow on it. I've had these for years and years just look on Amazon or I'm trying just to think of typical places where you could find just like little cottony head wrap bow type things. Yeah, and then I've got this dress from Club Monaco that you may remember also when uh, I was first pregnant. I remember I went and I like bought, this is such a tangent, but I bought all this stuff thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to be able to wear all this stuff when I'm pregnant. I'm not going to buy maternity clothes. I'm just going to buy... Yeah, no, you have to buy maternity, like, don't even, when you gain, like, 55 pounds when you're pregnant, you gotta buy maternity clothes, but anyways, this worked when I was first pregnant, and, um, I haven't worn it since, so I'm really excited to break this out, and I'm wearing my chains from HRH that I really love, um, I'm really into, uh, Y necklaces, as you guys know, like delicate gold ones. But I really like this chain of hers paired with it. It's just like a gold ball chain. So if you're into these Y necklaces like I am, uh, definitely check out her stuff because she's got a lot of nice layering gold necklaces. And this one is so pretty with them. And I mentioned getting some of the Lariat type necklaces, you know, ones that are a little longer from her in the silver and I got those as well but this was a um, this was a surprise so I was really excited about that so um, I'll show you my outfit oh and my first my earrings love these they're so perfect with it, this and if you're like me and you're a stud earring gal but you get so sick of just like little you know just typical little studs these are so great I think they're called a staple they're by Bobble Bar and they've got like a little chain they're so cute I've got them in rose gold too, but my rose gold ones are a little bigger. So I've got my um, dress. And then for shoes, I have on my Chloe Susanna boots, which definitely fun. Definitely different like with dresses and stuff if you want to go ahead and bust out your boots like I do. Because I had no boots when I was pregnant. I bought no shoes when I was pregnant. It was no fun. Um, it was fun buying maternity clothes and stuff. They're so nuts. I was like, these are the ugliest shoes. Like, I just don't like them when I see them and I've never been drawn to them. But when I see them on, freaking love them. But yeah, so I did this look. I hope that y'all enjoy it. And if you want to see how I did it, then keep watching. So starting off, I'm doing something kind of different for me. I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, which you guys know I'm not a big primer person, but I actually have been liking this one. I just like it. It feels clean. It smells clean. It almost smells like it has like tea tree oil in it or something. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. What I do with that is I just like put it on my hand and um, whatever brush I'm going to use. This is a Tarte big old fluffy, I don't, I don't know what it is, brush. I'll try to find something similar or find the name of it, but but it works really well for foundation. So any type of foundation brush you want to use. I really do love that Ultra HD. It wears really well throughout the day, and it holds up with my oily skin type. Well, mine's more like combination oily. It's not like super, super oily. But the areas that I get oily, I do get pretty oily. But see, it just covers so beautifully. I've got a ton of natural light in here today, and I even shut the blinds a little, so um, I, try, I tried. But it is just like, but when I film, I am in front of a window, and it is natural light, so I do try to like, you know, I don't want to be sitting in a hole in here, but I know sometimes it can get a little bright, but, but it is natural light, so whatever. It's not like I'm like drowning myself with a ton of fake light going around. Anything that's left, I don't like to bring like actual foundation on my neck, but anything that's left, I, um, I just go around like that. 
And then any little bits on my hand, I can just kind of go around and put on areas where I might need a little bit more coverage. But I would say that's probably one of my favorite foundations, and I totally expected not to hate it, but I, I just, I really don't love the original HD foundation. I just never have. It always broke me out and just didn't hold up very well. And I would always compare it to the Matte Velvet Plus, which there was no comparison. Like, the Matte Velvet Plus was so much better by Make It Forever. But um, this covers just as well and it holds up just as well as the Matte Velvet Plus. But it has, I think, it's easier to work with and it has a nice finish. Okay. So I'm just kind of making sure everything is blended. I like to use foundation brushes that have a bit of a rounded edge. Because they just blend a little better. Put a little on my brow bone since I'm going to wear a lot of eye makeup. I'll just kind of even everything out. And... I'll put on my um, Dior Lip Maximizer. It's just a clear gloss. And it doesn't like make your lips bigger. It just like smooths the lines. And it's not so like harsh. Like it doesn't hurt, you know? And next I'm going to do my under eye area. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and this Pixie Peach Corrector and just swirl it like that. And then dab it. And you can see it just instantly removes your dark under eye circles if you... I just, I love this. Using that together, it's just perfect. Um, my under eye area was a little dark this morning. So, and then um, whatever's left, I dab on those veins on my brow bone. And to kind of brighten it up, I'm going to use this MAC Radiant Rose pen. Just, I love that so much. And, um, what is this? It's a F65. It's just a little, um, concealer brush. And it really, I've been using this lately for that particular product because it doesn't wipe it away, you know? Like, it just keeps the brightness. And a lot of the product just doesn't actually transfer onto the brush or suck up into a sponge, you know? It just kind of keeps it on your face. So... Um, I'm going to take, what I would ideally like is my Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder, which I need to order some more. Or like a um, translucent, I used to love the NARS Translucent Crystal, and I used that whole thing, and I actually just ordered some more of that. Under my eye, you can use a variety of products, but I'm using the Ethereal Light by Hourglass. I still really love these, it's just, you know, you get other things, and I'm actually using the bronzer that goes with that today. So, I even thought about using my Chanel um, Bronze Universal, but I might use that in a different one. Because I really wanted to use this. This I've been so back and forth on, y'all. The, um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light, and I'm still very on the fence about it. I just, I don't know. You know, people rave about it. And it's nice. It just, um, it's a kind of, I'm trying to think, maybe it's the tone. But I don't think that's it, because I like other things that are, like, similarly toned. It's a very kind of, um, I want to say yellow. It's a very, like, it's not going to be very, like, brown bronzer. It's kind of more, like, bright in tone. I don't want to say yellow, and I don't want to say orange, or else I wouldn't be using it, because I wouldn't want to use it if it looked orange. Or, But, I mean, it's pretty. But I guess I just haven't fallen in love with it, but maybe I will. So I've been trying to use it and see. I, I do, it's very easy to blend and stuff. So I'm using it around my hairline. You know, I did, have been, I have been wearing this over the past several days. And when I see myself wearing it in pictures and stuff, I do like it. So, I don't know, it's just weird how sometimes you just don't, like, fall in love with things right away. And... Just a little on my nose. It's pretty though, right? Oh, it doesn't look very blended in. I mean, it is, but it just doesn't. So, um, I don't know. My friend always, I think it was that one that she asked me about. And I was even going to give her mine. But then I started using it. And I was like, I don't know. Um, hmm? Okay. I'm going to do the eyes before I start, like, deciding what I want to do for my blush and stuff. But... I do my brows really quickly. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. 
and I just very rarely will veer to a different product. I've tried so many different things over the years. I just always go back to this one. I always say that in videos, but you guys are pretty used to seeing me <laughs> use this one by now. It's just easy. You never have to sharpen it. You don't have to use any other product. It's just literally you just grab this brush and or this pencil and it's like everything that you need. And it really stays on well. I almost wish they even had a like one shade lighter than this too. This is the lightest shade that they make. So pretty easy there. I'm going to use this NARS Goddess uh, shadow pencil and it's just like a nudie gold and honestly this would be so pretty on its own. The other day I just wore it on its own and it was absolutely gorgeous but it's like it's a beautiful eyeshadow um, pencil and these are stick. It's kind of like Max Shade Sticks. It's like in the same exact containers or like a, not, or a Laura Mercier uh, caviar stick. They're more civil similar to the caviar sticks though because they don't drag around or anything. They're just real smooth. And then I'm going to use this product or this duo. Let's <laughs> flip the little thing out. Um, by, what is this? Uh, Bare Minerals. And it's the top shelf. And you might remember me buying this a very long time ago. But um, I've been using both of the colors lately and I have been liking it. Um, they're very bronze. So I take the bronzy side and just sort of apply it to my lid. Just all over and you don't have to be careful. Since we're doing like a more bronze makeup tutorial, this is going to be like the most color that I use. Sometimes I feel like for this under part, taking the sponge that came with it is um, just the easiest. You can use a brush and stuff, but a lot of times the sponge doesn't give you you know, fallout or anything, and I want a lot of bronze under here. You see? Like, I'm even taking it, like, further in than I normally would, maybe. And then, taking the lighter color, and right in the middle, just as you would kind of do with any little duo. Usually it's easier to do that with the lighter color in the middle. It's just the easiest way to wear them. Why isn't that one? I think it's just the light. It's like I can see it going on that side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got a lot on that side now. So, and then um, to kind of keep with the whole Bare Minerals thing, but honestly, this these worked perfect. This is my very favorite Bare Minerals quad, and the, it, this is in The Truth. And I believe this is the second one that I've owned of this. I really, really love these a lot over the years. I've, I've just fallen in love with this one. And um, I'm going to use this color, the brown right there. Any of the dark browns would really work. And I'm just going to darken up this outer crease. And you can even use the more matte brown in it. Just kind of go back and forth. And that just makes it look more, like, defined, I guess. I, just, I always hate to use a bunch of different palettes when I do this. I guess I should just stop caring and just do what works, I guess. So I'm going to take this um, tan color. This is in the my V's Art palette. And honestly, um, you can use any like warm brown or a soft brown color. I used to always use MAC Soft Brown for this. This was like kind of what got me into always using that was MAC Soft Brown. So you just kind of go around. And it makes everything look more together. And um, in that same Bare Minerals set, this color, that natural color, is so pretty. It's just the perfect highlight. It's not too frosted. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And then take that color and just sort of put it on the inner corner. Actually, I think I'm going to take the lighter and the mixologist one. What's that what's even called? No, the top shelf. Oh, and then the shadows are mixologist and cognac. Okay. <laughs> All right, and take that light color and just put it, because we really want this to look like glowy bronze. And then we can add some more to the end. I always like to go back at the very end and add a little more. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a cold liner. This is a total like optional step, but I've been loving this lately. I'm um, gonna take this 
uh, Cold Liner by NARS in the Menork. This is a new one, and I've really only seen it on the NARS website. Uh, so, yeah. But it's just so creamy. And um, so I use this first. I'm going to use, like, a lot of black liner, though. But I just always, before I use, like, a... I don't want to say harsh, but yeah, like, before I use, like, a liner that looks like paint, you know? I like to use this so that it's not so harsh, so that, like, there's a blurred line that is kind of around that. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and then, so my favorite brush, this is an E30S by Sigma. It's the synthetic version of that. I believe all their brushes are going to synthetic anyways. But, um... This one's nice. So you see like it just blends so easily. So many liners like just don't smudge worth a crap. And this one just is so nice. It's really smooth and creamy. I've been, I'm still using this ink liner by Makeup Forever in black. I don't know what it's exactly called, but yeah, it's the black one. And um, just right against my lash line and you see how I'm not completely coating over that. You can still see that blurred line around it. Love that. Okay, and then, hmm, I guess I'll do a little bit of a wing. I haven't been doing like any kind of dramatic liner lately. These Bobbi Brown I don't know why. Like, I have never been into Bobbi Brown at all. You guys know, like, I've never shown anything over the years. I've never bought anything over the years. But I'm really into these. But the Chocolate Caviar, the Dark Brown, and the Eclipse, the Dark Black, are so nice. Perfect for, like, double lining or, like, you know how I've always kind of gone around with a, uh, with an eyeshadow. And see, even if you didn't do that pencil before, you could have gone around afterwards with an eyeshadow if you thought your liner looked a bit harsh. So what I do with this is I take an angled brush and this is just my first little MAC brush. This is, see it's still going strong. I can't even read the numbers. It's either 203 or 208. It's like that worn off. And then instead of drawing a line with a liner, which would kind of ruin everything under there, I just kind of take this and smudge it, kind of connecting against that wing. Just kind of smudge it under. Okay, so I really want like obnoxious lashes and like really thick ones, you know? I don't want them, like not necessarily super long, I just want them to be thick. I have these from Ardell and they're the 101S, the self-adhesive. I just love how thick they are. This is my first venture into self-adhesive lashes. No clue what the heck this is gonna do. I have no idea what the heck this is, so pull it off. The adhesive's on there, that's what it is. But then it comes with an extra strip, so it's really not self-adhesive if you have to apply the strip. I don't know, we're gonna... I, I've never trusted self-adhesive lashes, but I'm just kinda going like that. It's just a very thick black strip that's on there. Where is my... Oh, I swear, I can't find anything on this table. Oh, my eyebrows are... This isn't bad. It's pretty easy, actually. Okay. It kind of catches on to your real eyelashes, though. More than like a wet glue would. Hmm. Self adhesive is kind of fun. The question is, will they last? Ah. I'll try them out, and then there's a weird plane going over that sounded like a, it sounded like a big toot. That was a, so much easier than fooling with glue. If these actually work and stay on, it's going to be pretty impressive. So yeah, look, you just pull it, and it's just a really goopy band, but it's dry, so you don't have to like fool with the whole, like waiting around. So honestly, like if you were in a hurry, you don't have time to mess with glue, or you were on a trip or something, you don't want to pack glue, that would be really nice, I think. Wow, they really stick. Like, when I click, when I click, when I, like, touch them to that part that always lifts for me, because I guess my eyes are so, 
I, that, that inner corner always lifts for me. I love those. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I can see them though because I guess they're just so dark. They're so much darker than what I usually wear. I'm gonna use this Lash Glamour by Bobbi Brown. And it's actually good for false lashes too because it's like one of those comey lashes or comey mascaras so it kinda gets up in there. It coats your natural ones and the false ones. And for me, I do like applying it like this because my lashes are so long and I really don't need false lashes. I just apply it because it, it's pretty and I like it, you know. Um, but if I apply mascara before, they get really, you know, they're curled and they get kind of their own shape. And then when I put the falsies over it, you can really see two separate lashes. Even if I apply more mascara after, I think it's better just to use like, just to put them on over clean lashes and then do this. And then my lashes really like get up against that but if you're really gonna reuse your lashes or you're using very nice lashes that you really want to take care of and like use several times you may not want to do that because you don't want to get like you don't want to coat them with so much mascara I guess so put them on the lower lashes so for my lips I'm gonna use a really I want to do like nudie pink so I'm going to use the Armani number no. 3 pencil, which to me is the best nude pencil because it's a nudie pink, which looks even more natural to me. So I got these new lipsticks by Estee Lauder, and they're the Pure Color Envy Matte Lipstick, and they sent me a whole bunch of them, and I've got that video coming up that's like the what's in my mailbox part, well I don't want to say part because I want to make it like an ongoing thing where I showed you guys and you all really liked my last one and I'm happy about that because it's a great way for me to like show all the things that companies send, things that I want to show. Um, I don't show everything and I don't accept everything, you know what I mean? So it's just new different things, it's kind of fun to discover and this was one of them um, and it's the Covetous Nude. I didn't really like all the other colors, they were a little out there for me but I really like this one. And the idea is that they're like a matte lipstick, but of course I apply these over clear gloss. I always like to apply my lipstick over clear gloss, but they smell just like MAC lipsticks, but even over like totally bare lips, they're very uh, creamy to look a little more pink. So I think I'll use this. It's the NARS Turkish Delight. I'll put that over it. Perfect. Just very thin. So I don't like my lips to get like goopy or anything. Uh, a lot of times I don't even like to apply gloss over the lipstick, but that's kind of pretty. I really like the way that looks. Now for my cheeks. I was just thinking the other day, I do not have a peach blush. Out of everything that I got, I don't have a good peach blush. So um, I think that's next. That's definitely next on my list. Things to grab. I'm using my F15 brush, which I've really been loving for blush, and my Burberry Peony a pretty um, pink. I don't want to use anything dark on my cheeks since my eyes are so, you know, they're a little extra today. So this just makes your cheeks look alive and girly and I know there's a peach color in this range and I'm so in love with this pink, the peony, that I um, think I'm going to get the peach soon. And then to finish it, as I always do, I take my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight. Even if I'm just doing a very, sim or a very simple look and I'm not, you know, doing anything super extra or crazy, I always, I never really skip this step. It just, it's just pretty. It just gives you a glow. I feel like my bronzer is like super in charge around my hairline there. It's pretty, but I just hope it looks blended. If not, it's okay. We'll, we'll live. Now you'll notice, no, I didn't use any setting powder. I haven't been using a whole ton lately, especially, I don't know what it is, but with this, I, I don't know, I just, I don't feel the need for it. Not that it's like super matte, because it's really not. It just feels natural. But around my chin, like maybe where, like where I have the most like darkness or scarring, um, at the very end, I'll just kind of, 
use it. This is my Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC, which is just my all-time favorite powder. And I might put just a little bit right there. Right there. And we're good. So, did I leave anything out? Of course I did. I forgot my brow gel, as always. So, I don't even... I don't even really forget that anymore because I've always, I always forget it to the point where now at the end I'm like, what did I forget? And I just immediately think brow gel because you always forget it. And um, I think we're good. So that's just a really nice bronze look that I really enjoy. Definitely check out these. Of course, I've been raving about the Truth Quad for years. And I've had this top shelf for about a year, a little over a year. Um, and I used it a little bit when I was pregnant, I remember, but I don't think I ever did, like, a video. I can't, I mean, there's a little, I've used it quite a bit because there's a little dent in them. But I haven't used them enough because I really, really like them. It's just very easy, so you don't need, like, a ton of palettes, a ton of crazy stuff. It's very nice to have. But for creating, like, a nice look like that, you don't need to go crazy. So, hope that y'all enjoyed it, and I will talk to y'all very soon. Bye.